What's up guys, my name is Brandon and welcome back to the 63rd Jailbreak Update episode and we have a lot of interesting things to talk about today. Now if you guys missed episode 62, make sure you go back and watch that. We'll have a link down in the description below. It was uploaded last month, but there's still all the information in that video is still relevant today. But anyways, in this video, we're gonna be talking about iOS 12 being jailbroken, Cilio, an update for all of you looking to jailbreak iOS 11.4 through 11.4.1, a new Safari, jailbreak me, jailbreak for iOS 10, and more. And before we get started, make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel with that notification bell ticked as I will be making a lot more jailbreak update videos. I'll also be coming out with a lot of videos when the new iPhones come out as well. Comparison, speed test, reviews, all that good stuff. I'm also going to be going live here on YouTube on Wednesday at 11 a.m. Eastern. So you guys should definitely stop by and say hey if you get a chance. Anyways, let's not waste any more time. Let's get into the jailbreak news. So let's start with a question that I've been getting a ton over on Twitter, over on Instagram, here on YouTube, just everywhere. I've been getting absolutely bombarded with the same question. And it's those of you that are on iOS 11.4 through 11.4.1 one, you're wondering if you can jailbreak, when you'll be able to jailbreak, and anything about the jailbreak status for those firmwares. Now let's be clear from the start, there is no jailbreak for iOS 11.4 through 11.4.1. Now there was a jailbreak, there actually still is a jailbreak for iOS 11.4 betas, and I did make a video on that a few months ago, so if you did miss that, I will have it linked down in the description below in case for some reason you are still on the 11.4 beta. But if you are on the final version of 11.4 or 11.4.1, there is no jailbreak available for you right now. Now is there hope for an iOS 11.4.1 .4 jailbreak? Sure, there's always hope no matter what firmware you're on, but is it likely? Probably not. We haven't really had anything publicized at all for iOS 11.4 through 11.4.1, minus the betas. We haven't had any bugs, you know, posted publicly on blogs or anything like that. We haven't had any write ups, any exploits, any kernel exploits, anything like that. So, unfortunately, it's not looking very likely for an 11.4.1 jailbreak at this moment. Now, with that being said, I wouldn't go ahead and update to iOS 12 just yet, especially if you are on iOS 11.4, which is not being signed at the moment. And of course, you guys know the reasoning for that. It's just a general rule of thumb in jailbreaking to stay on the lowest firmware possible if you can. At least until the next potential jailbreakable firmware is about to stop being signed. Which fortunately, the next version of iOS to get released is gonna be iOS 12, and that's not gonna stop being signed for a long time. And that brings me to, well, the next potential jailbreakable firmware, iOS 12. Security researcher Simone Farini posted a video on Friday with the caption, iOS 12 beta 12 pwn kernel memory read write with JN doc and F Roncari, we did it. And you can see with the video playing on screen right now, you can see that he has an iPhone 7 hooked up to the computer with this screen behind it showing the output. And the screen on the iPhone is just all white. It's most likely an application while the work is being done in the background, as you can see on the computer screen, it shows starting pwnage. And a couple seconds later, you can see that he has indeed pwned the kernel and achieved read write access on iOS 12 beta 12. So this is definitely awesome to see, especially on video. And those two fellow security researchers that he mentioned in the original tweet that he's working with are named JN Doc and Filippo Roncari. And all three of these guys have a history with iOS exploitation and research, so they definitely know what they're doing. And JN Doc actually responded to this tweet by saying ETA Sun, which most of you guys know is just a funny term for ETA soon. It's basically a meme at this point. And I'm guessing that he was just tweeting this for laughs, but it could also be indicated indicating that they do eventually plan on releasing this. Now this one right here marks the second kernel exploit for iOS 12 already. Electra team member Yumang also discovered one a couple weeks back, which you can see from the tweets right here. So it would definitely be awesome if these four teamed up, especially since Yumang is part of the Electra team and has easy access and you know easy communication with Coolstar. Now with all this being said, do not expect an iOS 12 jailbreak the day that iOS 12 gets released to the public. Don't even expect it a month after it gets released to the public. Jailbreaks take time, a lot of time. However, a kernel exploit is needed for a jailbreak and we already have two of those so that is a really tough part that we've already achieved but still it's going to take a while before we actually have a jailbreak that gets released to the public and i don't expect either one of these to get patched when apple does release the final version of ios 12 i know some people are going to be like well this was just on beta you know previous betas beta, beta 12 and maybe beta 10 but the thing is they didn't report these to apple they didn't do a public write-up or anything like that so i'm not expecting these to get patched in the final version the final build of ios 12. now if and when there is an ios 12 jailbreak and i'm guessing there actually is going to be an ios 12 jailbreak it's pretty much inevitable at this point, but when we get an iOS 12 jailbreak, expect to see Cilio on your device, possibly in place of Cydia. So as you guys may know, Cilio is the package manager that is set to possibly replace Cydia, and it's coming along very nicely, and it's pretty much done at this point, so it should be getting released very soon. And I talked a lot about this in the last episode. Again, you can check that out in the description below if you want to see what it looks like and things like that. I've been wondering, and I've also had a lot of people ask me about Sorik as well, and we still do not know where Sorik is. We don't know if he's going to come back from the dead and release an update to Cydia, you know, before Cilio 
Basilio gets completed, we just don't really know anything about what Sorek is up to at this point. But if he does end up updating City or releasing a Jailbreak or something crazy out of nowhere, that is going to be very, very surprising. And finally, let's talk about a new Jailbreak Me Jailbreak for iOS 10. So the name of this tool is Totally Not Spyware, which is a hilarious name, by the way, and it was put together by a group of talented security researchers, which you can see from the credits in this tweet right here. And the way you jailbreak on the site is pretty epic. Like I said, it is the Jailbreak Me style of a jailbreak. And you can see here is a demo from a Twitter user showing the slide to jailbreak slider and jailbreaking on his iOS 10 device. Now this does only work on 64-bit devices, but it does bypass any kind of signing issues you may have since it is web-based. And if you guys want to try this out on your iOS 10 device, it works on 10.x, any 10.x, and it works only on 64-bit devices. I will have a link to that down in the description below. It's a really cool tool and I already tested it on one of my iPhone 5s is running iOS 10.3.3. But anyways, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you did enjoy it. If you're on iOS 11.4 through 11.4.1, don't really expect a jailbreak, but at the same time, don't update to iOS 12 just yet, even though iOS 12 does have a much higher likelihood of receiving a public jailbreak. If you guys have any questions at all, definitely leave them down in the comment section below and I'll do my best to get back to you. You can also stop by the live stream on Wednesday, again at 11 a.m. Eastern. I'm probably gonna be going until at least two or three whenever the keynote ends. So if you have any questions, you can maybe get them in over there as well and I may answer those over there. But anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like on this video. Also, make sure to subscribe for a lot more jailbreak update videos. So thanks again for watching, guys, and I'll see you soon.